This morning, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we honor him, we honor him, the one that made us, the one that made us, the one that puts up with us, Sister Miller, the one that puts up with us, when we, when we want to act some kind of other way, he's yet still there, when we don't even want to tell him thank you sometimes, he's yet still there, when we don't even want to clap, I He's yet still there. But we don't want to tell him thank you. That God, his son Jesus, Holy Ghost, our keeper, I give God glory today. I thank him for being saved and sanctified, filled with his precious Holy Ghost. I tell you, I'm right full right now. I'm just so full. I told Pastor upstairs I was, I'm just full. I'm just so overjoyed. And I do honor, amen, my pastor, Bishop Ted G. Thomas, Sr. of the St. Stephen Church of God in Christ, as well as our jurisdiction of prelate, amen, and to my first lady, Mother Thomas, amen, and to Pastor McCowan, amen, who, who was kept, he, he was kept out of this one, he was kept out of this one, amen, Sister McCowan worked, she worked this one. Amen. And I thank you. I thank you for the invitation. I thank you for the opportunity to be here. Amen. I count it a signal honor. Amen. To stand before you. Amen. To declare the word of the Lord. I thank God for my wife, Evangelist Carletta Rose. Amen. And to my family back home and up in Virginia Beach. Amen. My grandbaby. Amen. Who is the joy? She's my joy. She's my joy. Amen. She's, she, she, she's a bit busy, but she's my joy. You know, children are just being born now. They're, they're so smart. It make, a, it make a, those of us that's been around here a while, my God, our parents were happy when we rolled over at around five or six months. Now at five or six months, they're learning how to read almost, I tell you. It's just something. We're so be- we, 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 we are so behind as, as babies, amen, to c- compare to them. But I thank God for my, thank God for my grandbaby, my daughter, and the son-in-law. Amen. They blessed us. Amen. With a beautiful baby girl, Brianna. And I thank God for her. So she is my, as you can tell by my face, she's, she's my joy. But I'm so glad to be, I'm so glad to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When I don't know nothing else to do, I know how, I know how to get to the house of the Lord. That's right. I, if, if I don't know nothing else, I, I may not know, I may not know all the workings of how a rocket is made, but I know one thing. I know that I serve a prayer answering God. That's right. I may not remember statistics, and Lord knows that was a tough time in college, but I, I can tell you one thing. I know that I got a prayer answer in God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I may oh, not yes, have sir. a dime in my pocket, but I know who does. That's right. That's and right. that's my prayer answer in God. That's right. That's oh, right. bless. And if, you, and if he's your same God, come on and clap your hands and tell him thank you. Thank you. Tell you a little something about me. I'm, I'm very unorthodox. I'm very unusual. I'm very unorthodox. Amen. I'll go from 1 to 100 just standing here talking to you. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. When I think, mother, when I think. I saw you up here. You, you was trying to hold it. You was trying to hold it middle of the road. But you, you, you hit a spot. You hit a spot there. She had to lay that mic down and, 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 and just go ahead and let, allow God to just go ahead and just roll all through her. My God. That's the kind of experience we ought to have with God. I want the world to know those that are li- looking at us. Look, serving the Lord is fun. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's the best thing that I could ever have done for myself. Right, was to say yes, Lord. Yes, my God, my God. So we're going to move right on into things, and I'm not going to hold you. I didn't come here to empty my wagon. My God, I just come here to declare a word to you. Amen. I'll be with you. I'll be here all day. Amen. So you'll, you'll see me again on this evening. Amen. I just want to just declare this word to you all. Amen. And then get out of your way. Amen. But somebody just clap and shout glory. glory. He going to work something out in that glory. You keep on saying it. Glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My, 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 my. So today, amen. And she, uh, Sister McCowan sent me, amen, with you all. The, the theme, amen. And so, I, I made an attempt to tie it in, and when the pastor started talking about prayer, and I said, yes, 
first and foremost, th th this is my this is my shut in, buddy. We're in the shut in. We're in the shut in every year. Amen. So I I I knew I would be right. I knew I'd be right right on topic. Amen. If I if I took and tied this together. And so the Lord gave me to bring to you all today strength through the power of prayer. Strength through the power of prayer. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're not praying, you will be strengthless. You will be powerless. You will be everything less if you are not praying. Because it is through prayer that we receive answers. We receive instructions. We receive encouragement. We receive courage. We receive the, the ability to, to forge through whatever it is that we're facing. We find all of that through prayer. So it is that today that I will stop by here and just talk to you for a few moments. And I'm just going to go as the Lord has led me. But somebody just lift your hands and say, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's me again, Lord, with a prayer that needs an answer it's me again Lord with a problem I cannot solve I don't know who you are I don't mean to worry you but here I am Lord I've got something new I need your help that can only come from you. It's me again, Lord. And if you love him, say yes. 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 Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Kind Father, in Jesus' name. God, I don't know, Lord. But you know, God. Yes, yes, yes. God, it kept your angels round about right now. In the name of Jesus. God, as I stand here today, God. Help in this place, God. Send on the help, Lord. Send in strength. In the name of Jesus. Touch these waiting hearts right now. In the name of Jesus. God, dispatch angels in the place. Even beyond this place, God. Send them to the homes, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Minister in this place, God, like none other. And God, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Come on and tell him thank you. Come on, come on. Ah. God is able to do whatever it is that we need of him to do. Oh, my God, such a heaviness. Mm, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You may take your seat. Strength in a time such as this is critical to the man and woman of God who own the battlefield for the Lord. It is with this stance in mind. We're constantly reminded of the fact that without prayer, we're not going to be able to sustain the waves of despair that will try to overtake us. It is through prayer that we gain that strength yes. Yes. that is so needed in order to be victorious yes, yes. in our pursuit yes. for kingdom building right. and destroying the plots of Satan. Because I don't know if you know it or not, 
He's been at work. He's yet at work. Constantly trying to overthrow, constantly trying to overthrow the plans of the kingdom of God. But how many know that greater is he? Ah, I leave that right there. So it is prayer provides the necessary weapons. And we're going to get to some scriptures in a minute. Prayer provides the necessary weapons when dealing with likes of those who seek to create ill will upon the work that God has placed in his service. He called God placed the work in us. The work is placed in us, and then we go forth and we execute said work. It's placed in us. In us, in us, in us. It's, it's in us to do the work. And then we execute that work which is placed in us. And it's, it's, it's placed in those who have said yes to his will and to his way. They, 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 they work together. They're twins. They're Siamese twins. Having a spirit of prayer places in us a special category of warriors who have spent time in the training room and have developed a keen sense of discernment in order to forge on the keen sense of discernment gives you gives you guidance and lets you know where to step, where not to step, what to say, what not to say, what to do, what not to do. In a few moments, I'm going to tell you a st true story of one who withstood the test and has been etched in the halls of history as one of the most powerful prayer warriors to ever work in the ministry. But first, I want to make a few declarative statements. In order to possess strength, we must first possess a strong and impactful prayer life. Without that, praise center would not be here today. Mm -hmm. Nor would there be an indelible impact being made in the lives of the people that this ministry has come in contact with. Amen. Pastor and Lady McCowan must be people of prayer for without it, they could not persevere to do what God has placed in them to do. It is through the power of prayer that the strength to weather the storm has new meaning. So here we are today, celebrating one who has garnered such strength that can only come by way of prayer. Many things had to be endured in order to see the ministry come to fruition. It was not a fly by night concept, but one that was birthed out of a burden to see souls saved and lives change for the good. Yeah, yeah. So now I will begin the narrative. And I pray that you will be encouraged by this testimony of this devout woman of God. You may have already heard of or perhaps even read about. And today I want to give you the testimony of the late mother E.J. Daphne. Yeah, who penned the book, What It Means to Pray Through. Not, 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 not what it means to pray at <laughs> yes, sir. or pray about, yeah, yeah. but what it means to pray, to pray through. Did, did, did you catch that? See, you could pray at a lot of things. You could pray for a lot of things, and then you drop it and go in and, you know, start doing something else. But when you pray through something or when you go through something or when you press through something, it means that you're going through the process. It means that you're going to stay with it until God is satisfied and you're going to push through it until God gives you the answer. You're going to stay there with it until results begin to manifest. Letting you know that God has taken over. So today I want to just drop these couple of things with you about Mother Daphne. And, and I hope that it will encourage the ministry to know that when you start a work such as a church, it, 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 there's going to be times when it feels like the church is not doing much. It's going to feel like maybe my doing is in vain. Maybe my going is in vain. God, what are you doing? God, what is this? God, what is that? You become questionable about what it is that you're doing. That is the time that you need to turn your plate down and seek God and pray through and pray through first chronicles the 16th chapter is one of the first verses that i want to send it out to you and says seek the lord and his strength uh -huh. seek his face continually yeah. continually not not every now and then call on him not hey god what's up what's going on what's going on how, how we living how we living 
but you establish a constant track, a constant relationship, a, a sound relationship with God through prayer. Then we move on over to Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 21. Hallelujah. We could go there. Second Chronicles chapter 6. Amen. Then I'm going to move to the basis for which where I'm going on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it tells us in the sixth chapter and in verse 21. Hearken therefore unto the supplications of thy servant and of thy people Israel, which shall make for toward this place. Hear thou from thy dwelling place, even from heaven. And when thou hearest, forgive. Yeah, there's some things that sometimes get caught up in our crawl. We get, get caught up in our chest. And we need to go back and, 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 and go before the Lord and pray through yeah, yeah. until that forgiveness begins to manifest yeah, itself. Yeah. And all these things help for a healthy ministry, for a healthy, healthy ministry, we have to deal with these things. And then, of course, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17 tell us what? To pray without what? Ceasing. Mm-hmm. Over 25 years ago, I was led to read a book about the life of the late mother, E.J. Dapney, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, entitled, What It Means to Pray Through. Mother Dapney devoted her entire life to the service of the Lord in prayer, beginning with a covenant that she made with the Lord, standing at the base of a riverbank in North Philadelphia. She would meet the Lord every day at 9 a.m. for three years and would fast. For three days each week for two years. All this was done, catch it, so that the ministry to which the Lord had birthed in her husband might be made manifest. As I stated earlier in my earlier statements that this was not a fly by night Praise the Lord. Ooh, let, let's just go. Let's go start a church. Let, I think that'd be fun to do. Let's go set up a ministry. Let, let's go and suffer. Let's go and go through. I think that's just going to be just yippee yay. Yes, sir. That was not it. <laughs> Let's go be ridiculed. Let's go be talked about. Let's go be pointed at. Just imagine if we took the time and prayed for one another like this mother did for her husband. So I say to your praise center, this is a side note, pray continually for your pastor and your first lady. Pray through for your pastor and your first lady. Mother Daphne had what the saints of old had, and that was a mind to live and please the Lord. And she would not let nothing or no one deter her from keeping the covenant that she made with the Lord. Ironically, her husband did not readily agree with her when she approached him about it. However, as time went on and the Lord Lord began to bless, he would soon ask mother, to petition the Lord for certain things that the church needed. The, the, the connection had been, it was a strong connection. And so while, while the connection was hot, while the, while the wire was hot, let's go ahead and put some, let's go ahead and put some things on. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and tell God a few more things since, since the, since the communication line seemed to be right hot. <laughs> Woo. He was soon asked mother to petition the Lord for these things that the church needed. And as God had done previously, it was granted. Oh, what discipline, there's that word, mother displayed to meet God each day and to fast. No food, no water for three consecutive days each week for two years. To God be the glory for the great things he done in her life, all because she put him first and knew that God was the source of of her life praise center when god is the source of your life oh my god the, the, the opportunities become what they say endless ah bless the name of jesus richard smallwood penned the song total praise and in that song we sing a stanza that simply says you are the source of my strength and then he flips it that you are the strength of my life when we pray we gain that strength to sustain to endure to go through to make it because guess what oh my god when we when we get a glimpse of what the go- the end goal eternal life yes, sir. Yes, yes. soul saved yes. bodies healed yes. 
deliverance in the room. Souls are set free. My God, it ought to propel us to want to pray that much more. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So when we pray through, we are saying that God is our life source. Yes, he is. Yes. Mother endured great trials. All because she said yes. Don't, don't, don't think now you're going to get a party thrown because you said yes, Lord. That's right. No, you're going to get rocks thrown That's right. because you said yes, Lord. That's right. You may get daggers thrown. Yes. You get lies thrown because you said yes, Lord. That's right. That's right. Because understand that yes is more powerful than the greatest no ever. ever. That's right. That's right, sir. You could give me a 10-page dissertation as to why you don't agree with me, but by one yes, Lord, I wait. That one, yes, Lord, outweighs anything that an atheist could ever stand before me and try to argue about whether or not there is a God. Because my one, yes, Lord, outweighs all of that rhetoric. That's right. So here it is. Praying through means more than just talking to God. That's right. yeah. It also means we must wait, wait, wait for the answer. And while we are waiting for the answer, here it is. We must continue to press on and believe that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask. Oh, thank. So we have to pray with expectation. And when we're praying, we have to also be working. And when we're working, we have to be praying. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just not one. It's not one off for the other, but we have to use them both. Yes, yes praying is work. <laughs> if you want God to move, then you must do your part and spend time with him in prayer. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard him. I heard him placing emphasis on prayer. Y'all even have a Friday neighbor. I love prayer. I love prayer. Yes. Yeah. Tell me you have a prayer meeting. I'm there. I'm there. I'm drop one. Look, I'm there. <laughs> Love it. Love prayer. It said, yes, prayers. Well, if you want God to move, then you must do your part and spend time with him in prayer. Avoid getting the latest scoop and turn down your plate and seek him. Daily will I seek him. Have that attitude should be your motto. God is the only one that can heal our soul's diseases. For there's not a friend. I, I love songs. I love hymns. I love. There's not a friend, Sister McCowan. Like Jesus. No, no, not one. No, no, none else can heal all our soul. No, not one. Jesus knows. So when I go to him in prayer, my like I said, he already knows all about. I'm really just rehearsing it. I'm really just playing it back to him because guess what? He know before he know before I even say it. So when I go to him in prayer, I'm really just kind of like just rehearsing it back to him. He's just hearing it from Miller. He's just hearing it from me. He already know it, but he, just, he wants to hear it from me. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. So, so, so I'm just really pressing repeat. Hallelujah. Because he already know what the situation is, but he wants to hear it. He wants to hear it from me. So for there's not a friend nowhere like him. Ah, uh, the young man wrote the song. I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. Looked high. And I looked low, but I still couldn't find nobody. I went to prayer, and I found nobody greater. Found nobody greater. I found nobody who could deal with what I was dealing with. Nobody could touch him. Hey, and for that, I say, yes, Lord. For that, I say, yes, Lord. And for that, I give him praise. And for this, what is that? And for this, I give him praise. Hey, yes, spending time with the Lord has great benefits. Yes, sir. Great benefits. Yes, sir. We've heard the term French benefits. They ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. Look, look, ain't got nothing on God. That's right. He's the benefit of the benefactor. He's the benefactor, benefactor. He's the benefactor, benefactor, benefactor. Yes, Hallelujah. He's just the, he's just all of that. Yes. My God, there's nobody that can take care of us. I love my wife, and she takes great care of me. But I'll tell you what, can't nobody take care of me like the Lord can. My God, because guess what? When I need him to work in this body, my wife can't work on my body, but God can. Oh, my God. When my mind is perplexed, she may be able to speak words of encouragement, but God can speak peace. The Lord can speak peace. Oh, my God, we're, we're able to better understand his will for our lives when we take the time and devote it to him in prayer. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Great wisdom and understanding has been birthed out of having a sanctified prayer life. Yeah. I heard a preacher say fasting and prayer means I expect God to do something in my life. I need God to do more than just the minimum, but I need him to maximize my blessing. 
I need him to maximize my strength. Strength for the journey. Whatever path that he's placed me on. If it's to go into all the world and preach the gospel, I'm going to need strength to do that. And in order to have strength, I'm going to have to have a proud life because I'm not going to make it if he don't help me. Oh, God, we have to believe and expect. Mother Daphne believed God with every essence of her being. Despite the naysayers, we have to get to that place where we no longer hear the doubters. So we have to be focused. We have to set our affection yes. Yes. on things above. Hallelujah. Not on what I can get, what on what I can obtain down here. I told the pastor this morning, I said, we become so earthly good, but we're no heavenly good. We're so earthly minded that we're no heavenly good. But they tried to flip that and say that we're too heavenly minded. I beg the differ. I think we're becoming too worldly minded. We're becoming too earthly minded to the point where we can't rise. We don't have Holy Ghost yeast in our soul. We don't have the spiritual yeast to rise. I, I, I love to bake and, 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 and to make to make some good rolls. You, you, you got to use you got to use some yeast, and you, then you got to prove you got to allow that got to allow that dough to rise. But if it don't have what it had to have, you're gonna open you're gonna pull back that cover, and it's still gonna be laying flat. But if it's got what it has to have. And if you got what you need to have, when we pull back the, oh, when pressure began to put, Jesus, Jesus. when things begin to hit on, you can, you can rise, you can rise above it all. You can rise above the circumstances. You can rise above all the situations that you find yourself in because you have what you need to have. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to push on through here, y'all. I don't want to keep you here all day. But listen, but listen, but listen. Ah, Lord. We have to get to that place where we no longer hear the doubters. We have to pray through the hurt and the disappointments that will come. We must put our proud life above anything else. Got to put it above the cousins. Got to put it above my parents. I, I love my mom and them. I love them, but guess what? I love praying. I love, I love God more. Don't mean I don't like them. It just means I love God more. Yay! So here it is. Our family must not supersede our prayer time. Mother spent three consecutive days. She did this. I, I, I didn't t- she did this away from home, y'all. She went into the church. She prayed at the church. I I, I, I just believe that she said, you know what? To avoid any distraction. To to, to have to deal with any what ifs. Why don't I just go to where I can really focus and really press through? Let me go to the house of the Lord. So find you a place in your house. Find you somewhere where you can get. Leave the phone out there somewhere. Find you a spot. They talk about the prayer closet. Yeah, you really need one. Find you a place where you can get to and sit down and talk to God. Because you know what? You you, you really don't make that immediate connection right away. I'm here to tell you. You have to put in the work. It's not that the line is busy. It's just that that's what I like to call a, 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 a delay. And, and, the, and the, the delay is simply this. You need, you need to delay all your circumstances. Delay it all the way up to God. Stay there until God gets the connection from you. Because it's you that needs to connect. He's, he, God, God, God is never disconnected. But it's us that needs to make connection. So we have to work at it. We have to, we have to sometimes push through. We have to press through in order, in order to get there. And if you're praying like you really need to be praying, you'll know when you're there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll know when you're there. We must put our prayer life above everything, anything. And I said mother spent those three days from home each week and labor for the Lord in the sanctuary. And for her labor and for her sacrifice, God blessed her in tremendous ways. So much so that today here I am. Talking about Mother Daphne, who died many years ago. 
But the prayer, her prayer life, her testimony had an impact on my life 25 years ago. I, I was, I think I was in Japan. I was stationed in Japan when I first heard about this book. And, and, I, and I tell you, it has had an impact on my life ever since then. That's what the power of prayer would do. That's what, when someone's testimony of a prayer would do for you, I'm yet still intrigued. I'm yet still amazed at the sacrifices that she made yes, all for the ministry. It wasn't to gain wealth. It wasn't to gain wealth, but it was, it was that the, it was that the glory of God, that the kingdom of God would get the glory. And then the favor came. People began to come from all over the United States. They came from all over the globe for her to pray. Oh my God. When you commit to the work of the Lord, God is obligated to take care of you. The one key thing that mother never did, and that was put herself first. This whole prayer began because she was praying for her husband, the ministry that the, the God had given to her husband. She went in prayer for that, not for her, not that she could be the best at what she could be, but it was that God would get the glory out of the effort that her husband was putting forth. Yes. She was always putting the needs of mankind before the Lord, and for that, God blessed her, and her needs were met as well. Praying through means that you have to be willing to suffer. And I said that word earlier. That is, our, that is oftentimes a hard thing for us. We want more of God. But we don't want to go through. Simple as that. We, we just don't. If, if, if I could find a shortcut to this blessing. If I could find a shortcut to this breakthrough. If I could just, you, you know, is there an HOV lane for, 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 you know, for getting delivered, you know. We, 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 we try to find, we try to find our alternate, we, but it's just simply this. You just got to go through. We want more of God, but we don't want to go through. The saints back in the day used, used to say this was a suffering. They used to call this a suffering. When I didn't understand what they were saying, but simply, it simply stated, if you, was gonna, if you really were serious about this life, then you were willing to take whatever came. Because once again, the end goal the end goal. You, you just can't. You just can't. You, you just can't give that up. My God, I didn't understand at the time, but as life would have it, I came to fully understand what that meant. God is not going to just hand us everything on a silver platter, right. but He's going to allow us to be tested and tried right. to see if we can endure right. and if we can hold on. Right. Praying through means to have a concrete relationship through prayer with the Lord. Mother Daphne once stated that it's hard to pray through into the glory of God when you're up today and down tomorrow. You, 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 you got, to, got, got to have some stability. Got to have some stability. Oh, my saints, we must be consistent in our walk with the Lord. Our prayer life must be indicative of that walk. As Mother stated, we will never truly experience the fullness of God if our prayer life is stagnated. In other words, hit and missing. Examine yourself. Take inventory of your prayer life. Yes, yes. Is it where it should be? Can it be better? Yes, yes. Ask yourself these basic questions. The Bible tells that the effectual fervent prayers are the righteous. Those are the ones that 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 that, that will that will go that will hang on. They, they, their prayers avail. They have they have a veil. Though they would they will make it through. Our prayers should have a desired goal, and that is to reach God. Yes. Moving to a close, having an effective Prayer life builds up our confidence in God. First John 5 and 14 supports that claim that this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything in him, anything, I don't, mm. Bible said he hears us. And we got to know and believe that God heard us and he is going to work it out. Lastly, Praying through helps us to worship and praise God. Oh, nothing like spending time with the Lord and, begin to, and he began to move forth in you and the spirit of God began to move forth. Ah, my God, oh my, what an experience. The prayer means of old can testify what it's like laying before the Lord, crying out to the Lord, and then he come and fill the room because he is that all-consuming. And when he enters the room, there's no space left for Satan. When he enters the room, there's no space for doubt. 
when he enters the room, there's joy forevermore. So in order to make it, we got to pray through. What are you saying, my preacher? You got to pray in good times. Got to pray in the bad times. Got to pray when they're lying on you. Oh, my, my Lord. You got to pray when you feel sick in the body. You got to pray if you want to see your children saved. You got to pray to see the church grow. You got to pray to see men and women everywhere saying yes to his will and yes to his way. The only way praise sinners going to make it, they got to get on their knees, got to cry out to God and say, Lord, help us, Lord, help us to make it, help us to go through. No matter what, we're going to stand on your word. No matter what, we're going to stand, Lord, and we're going to cry out, Lord, help this place. Help me to do my part. Woo, my, 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 I felt that one. Help me to do what it takes. Help me to do what it takes. My, 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 put the burden in me, Lord. Put it on my shoulder to undergird my pastor, to do what's necessary, to see the ministry grow. Hi, Lord. Help me to beat the streets, crying out, Lord. We got a place over here on Fraley Boulevard. Come on by. Stop on in. We have a pastor that's crying out in the wilderness, telling us that the word of God is what's going to keep us. Stop on by. We have prayer on Friday night. Stop on by. We have Sunday school on Sunday. But even more so, we give out food. Are you hungry? We got some food for you. If you're in need, we'll see what we can do. Because not only are we going to give you the word, but we're going to help the total man. Hallelujah. So, Lord, help me to pray that the world will know that praise sinner is on the move. That praise sinner is willing to help him make it through. We are here not for ourselves only, but we're here that the world may know that God lives and he rules and he super rules. So stop all by. Pray, sinner. Come on in where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Stop all by. Bring your family. Bring your friends. Bring your enemy. Because we'll pray the devil out of them. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And Lord, when you come in, you might come in as a friend, but you're going to leave as family because we're all one big family here on this earth doing what's necessary that the word of God may be preached, that the word of God may be published all throughout the earth. So help me, God, to pray through. Help me, God, to persevere. Give me a do-right mind. Give me a willingness to hang on in there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're standing all over the place. And we're giving God praise. We're declaring it done. What he's going to do for this place. You ought to see it before you see it. Or you never will see it. You ought to see it before you see it. Or you never will see it. You ought to see it before you see it. Or you never will see it. So give him glory. Give him praise for the increase. Give him glory. Give him praise for the increase. For the souls coming in the door. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We praise you. We lift you up. We magnify you. And we give you glory. We give you glory for everything that you're going to do. Help me to pray 
through. Help me to pray until I see something happen. Help me to pray until souls are saved. Help me to pray until bodies are healed. Oh, my, 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 my. Help me, Lord. Help me, God. Help me to do what's necessary to see the ministry grow, Lord. Put the burden on me. Put it in me, God. Give me a sleepless night. Eh, Glory to God. Let me feel the pain, oh God, of the dying world. Oh, bless the name, Jesus. And just like Mother Daphne, who prayed untirelessly, prayed to the point where the ministry just began to become worldwide. Oh, they were coming from everywhere, seeking out this woman to pray. What a legacy. What a legacy. I wonder, are they seeking you out? Are they seeking you out because of your connection with God? Are they seeking you out? Are you known for getting a prayer through? Are you known for interceding? What are you known for? What are you known for? Are you known for one that stands in the gap for your pastor? Are you known for that? Harvest is plentiful. But laborers are few. Pray ye that there's work. Workers for the harvest. We sung a song in the church. Oh, Christian, there is work to be done. If this gospel is hid, it's hid to them that are lost. So we must go out. We must be about our father's business. You may not be able to hold revival on your job or you may not be able to go on the street corner and but you can pass out a pamphlet. Share a kind word. Share your testimony. Men and women are dying. And the Bible said the blood is going to be required at our hand. I don't know about you. I don't want no one else's blood on my hands. So Lord, stir up in me. Stir up the gift. Give me a strong prayer life. Give me a burden and I'll keep saying that word. Put a burden in me. I heard it, Pastor, for ministry. Help me to stand and declare. Help me stand and declare. Everybody's eyes are closed. God, I ask now, Lord, that you would touch praise center. The work that has begun in this place. That you would look upon this pastor's heart. That you see, oh God, his desire for souls to be delivered. Minds set free. Bodies clothed. Stomachs filled. The burden, oh God. Lord, I would ask now, God, that you would let praise center reflect throughout this area and beyond. That men and women will come running in, God, saying, what must I do? What must I do to inherit eternal life? Oh, God, that you would send peace to this pastor. That the work that he has begun, oh, God, that the growth will manifest. That laborers will come in with a... with a desire to work with a desire to work 
with a desire to work and to see that work manifest over and over. God, that you would touch these members that are here today, God, to undergird the leader, oh God, that they will plead the blood on his behalf, that when they're even at home, oh God, that they will call his name, that they would even fast and pray that the ministry would not lack. Mm. Yes, God. And God, we know you're able to do it. You did it for Mother Daphne. You've done it for Bishop Mason. You've done it for the patriarchs and matriarchs of this church. And we have their testimonies, and we're yet here today because of that. And God, I know you can do it in this place. And so for that, God, we're going to raise a praise in this place. We're going to open up our mouths. We're going to lift our hands. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. We bless you, 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 Lord. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I'll agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me with your whole heart I'll agree and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Everybody say yes, yes, yeah, oh, yeah, mm, yeah, yes, Lord. Come on, one more time. Everybody say yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. Mm. Yeah, when your spirit speaks to me, my whole heart agrees. And my answer is yes. Not will be. Is yes. See, the will be, it, it, it makes it somewhat contingent. But my answer, my answer will be yes if. So we, we, it's almost like a contingency has been placed. And I, I, I just picked that up. My answer is. I, I, I don't need to be, I don't need to be swayed. But my answer, my answer is yes. Come on and clap your hands and tell God thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. This is our prayer in Jesus. I pray that something has been said today to uplift you, to, to inspire you to check your prayer life out. Are you praying through? 
or you pray and edit. And if you find yourself in the latter, then ask the Lord to strengthen you. That you will have the power to pray through, to see results in the ministry and in your own life. In Jesus' name. Amen.